Tacoma hood deflector damage. Can a hood deflector damage the paint on your hood? We're gonna pull mine off, take a look at what's underneath and see if there's any damage. <music> off and this is just the reverse of putting it on is a phillips head screwdriver it's that easy it just bolts in or screws into some holes uh into some inserts that are on the hood so it looks like if i recall there's one two three four five six of them so i should be able to just unscrew those and pull this deflector off and then we can see what's underneath so we're going to have a high speed unscrewing and, uh, and then we'll pop that thing off and see what's underneath. Okay, there's all the screws out and it does want to come off. So let's go ahead, gently take it off. It's just that simple. So here it is. As far as the condition of the uh, deflector itself, all looks pretty good. I don't see anything funky about it. No chips or anything. On the side where you bolt it down, everything looks good under there. Eh, no cracks or anything. So it could be reused if you're taking it off uh, oops, if you're taking it off of the truck for some reason. So let me get the hardware and stuff out of the way and we'll take a look at it. Okay, got the hood shut. Let's take a look and see. The truck is dirty, of course. And I'm just looking around the edges, the top. You can look down the top. There's a spider web. Um, and see if you see any kind of chips, scratches, dings, dents, anything crazy. So looking right along the edges, right along here. Good close-up view, I think. Got some dirt. And I don't see any issues, no problems whatsoever, that having the deflector, this is a bug and stone deflector, by the way. I don't see any negative impact having this thing on here. Uh, so, no issues that I can tell. I think it actually looks pretty darn good. So I would say it has not caused me any negative impact having it on the truck. All right, there you go. You saw a close up look at it, what it looks like now. Um, I don't see any reason not to put one on from that perspective, from that standpoint. I know there have been some comments I've seen on other uh, videos and things or on my own channel, people stating that somehow having that piece on there was gonna scratch up the paint or something. Um, couldn't be further from the truth. I don't see any issues. And if anything, having that over the front of the truck right here where stones and rocks, whatever might normally hit, actually has protected the truck. I don't see any problems. So for me, there is no downside to having one of these on the truck. Now, I have mentioned before that I got it to keep stones off of the windshield. Now, realize, of course, that anything that's airborne up above here is going to hit the windshield. I mean, you know, there's nothing that's going to prevent everything except leaving it at home in your garage, right? I mean, if you don't drive it, you're never gonna have a chip in your windshield. Same thing with bugs. I mean, bugs fly, right? So if they're flying around and they're up above, uh, they're not going to be impacted by this guard down here. In other words, it's not going to stop them from hitting anything. Now, what it does do, of course, if anything impacts it directly, it's gonna deflect it away, that's the idea. The other thing is, is that by having that there, anything that normally would have come up across the front of your truck and went across your hood, 
it's not going to happen because that deflector is there to send it off in a different direction, either over the cab, hopefully, or off to the side so that you don't have anything scratching or scraping across your hood. And it seems to have worked so pretty good so far for me. I haven't had any chips. Of course, I've had bugs on the windshield. If you ever figure out how to avoid that, I would be very curious to know, as well as a number of truck drivers out there, I'm sure. But no chips in the windshield. I'm very happy with it. Um, I would do it again. If I decide to do something with this truck, of course, I will put it on again. I think it's, uh, it's an excellent product. No issues with it whatsoever. Seems to have worked pretty well. Anyway, leave a comment. Let me know if you've got one of these. Have you noticed that it has reduced maybe the number of bugs on your windshield? Kind of hard to measure, but what do you think? And also stone chipping, stone chippage. Do you have reduced stone chips on your windshield that you can attribute to having a deflector on the front like I had? I'd be curious to know. Leave a comment. Also, real quick, if you're interested, I do have two, that's two, additional channels. Rob Motive FST, all about my 2021 Toyota Tundra. And Rob Motive JT, all about my 2020 Jeep Gladiator. Check them out, and if you're interested, please consider subscribing. Don't forget to click that notification bell so that you don't miss out on any upcoming videos. And do me a favor, smash that subscribe button on the way out. Thanks for watching. Stay safe out there. Bye.